Frederik von Hohenzollern. He doesn't have a story. Okay, I think we play Prussia and unite Germany. Let's see if it... Uh, plus 50% orc, plus 12% recovery rate. Prussia is showing what they can do, man. Jesus. Another 10% attack and 5 defense. Jesus. Artillery attack. We're really getting the Prussian war now, man. God damn. Halten Sie sich die Ohren zu, meine Herren. Der Krach an sich ist tödlich. Meine Herren... This is actually under your budget. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when you move in, Geico could help you save on renters insurance. Um, the walls seem a bit thin. Natasha, <laughs> turn off the radio! Sorry, it's my wife. <laughs> Get your mom in here! Show it to her! Show it to her! <laughs> yeah, shall we uh, move on to the next one? Yo! My dick is on fire! Geico, it's easy to switch and save on homeowners and renters insurance. For more short clips like this one, check out Tommy K clips in the description below. We're going to be releasing short funny clips on there and it's gonna include some really old stuff that I found on my PC. Check it out boys and enjoy this video. Oh scheisse! Ach oh, man, every stream starts like this, huh? One sec. Ah, uh, I already spilled tea because I was shaking the... I was reading chat for the last hour, in a weird way. And fucking hell, you guys are fucking retarded, man. Jesus Christ. I was reading chat the last hour, like, on the side, right? And people are, wow. Jesus, man. This guy here. Tommy, when will the stream start? He said that 30 seconds ago. Man, I don't know. University is going to get hard. But hey, how are you doing, guys? Gentlemen, so I chose today. We're going to check out the mod. I don't know if the mod is good. We will... Find out the mod is called Empire. I've just seen it on Alex Rebel channel. It is kind of EU4. You start in the year 1699. Let's not shoot this. Let's find Empire 4 Empire. is a mod set around the events of the early 80th century, starting in 1699. In this mod, you will be able to experience interesting scenarios such as the war for the Spanish succession, blah, 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 blah. Whilst Empire has been in the making for quite some time, work is never to be finished. There will be bugs. A reworked map of the world set in 1699. Hundreds of unique leaders and portraits a unique scenario centering around the great northern war the spanish succession war let's take a look here i like the dude i like the loading time that's what i like oh, I, I like pictures like this damn that looks amazing that looks like a like a new game like i'm playing you for so i want to obviously play i want to unite germany can you do that please tell me they have folk streets fucking prussia man brandenburg prussia i want to unite germany Okay, I think we play Prussia and unite Germany. Let's see if it, uh, here we fucking are, man. Berlin Neukölln. Okay, please tell me that the focus tree is good, please. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, let's continue. Berlin works. Berlin Neukölln has, has seen many efforts to modernize the city worthy of a capital. Yet there's more work to be done. Berlin Neukölln, you shouldn't go there in real life, man. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here we, here we fucking are, man. I like how I have low uh, factories. I like that. I hate when mods give you a million factories. I'm a protestant. I'm a duchy rank. Low tax burdens. Export focus. Ex Dude, you have like a rank, like a duchy and shit. That's cool. Okay, pretty basic here. Nothing really changed. Government institutions, the age of absolutism. Isn't it crazy what's possible in a hope for modding? Isn't it fucking crazy what is possible? Fucking hussars, cuirassiers, improved dragons, dragooners, dragoons, sorry. Don't say rounds, Tommy! Okay, we're going industry first. You guys know me. Industry and. I mean, there is no mobile warfare. I, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, cavalry is mobile warfare. So we're gonna not do that. We're gonna be an, an artillery guy. Uh huh. Uh, I read about a bug that cavalry is still shown as a tank because this is a brand new mod. So bear with me when you see tanks here. I mean, just turn off the fucking cavalry. They can suck my dick. Arms manufacturing, civilian factory. Yeah, yeah. Colonial settlement, university. You can build universities. Fuck, I want to play you for now. A conscription center gives you five men. Power a week. A courthouse gives you resistance. This is U4, man. Shipyards, farms. 
supply gain from refineries and the building provides a state with plus one grain the blacksmith gives you two steel oh you, yeah you, you see you need actually spices for support equipment musket supply wagon we're gonna build like this oh, decisions estate interactions this, this these people kind of actually just made you for didn't they Okay, this is their influence and shit. The current influence of our ruling house is 48%, representing the amount of absolutism we have. The higher the absolutism, the more political power we will receive. Uh, lower tax burdens and strength and absolutism. Okay, let's just play for a second. Build up a bit. I want to unite Germany. Let's see if we can reach that goal. That's August der Starke. Very famous dude, man. I know uh, a lot about him because Leipzig and Dresden, they always talk about him. Everything is based on this guy. He becomes uh, the king of Poland later. Let's just follow Focus Stream for a second and just check out this mod. Today, just chill stream, check out the mod. On uh, January 9, 1699, the Treaty of Karlowitz was signed after two months of negotiations between the Ottoman Empire and the Holy League, thus concluding the Great Turkish War of 1683. The treaty saw large territorial losses for the Ottoman Empire. They lost most of Hungary to Austria and parts of Greece to Venice. The Ottoman Empire... <laughs> now faces a period of instability. Ah. Oh, this is when the Ottoman Empire slowly declines, right? Is it World War One where they f actually fully get fucked? I, I, to be honest, I don't know much about this era. Okay, I built up Berlin here. I can make a Hofkammerngericht, which is a court of law. Or I can stimulate manufacturing. Königliche Preußische Akademie der Wissenschaft. Meaning, I get one research slot. You guys know I love research. I always want to do uh, industry first before I go into the story. Massive. Ah, that's very clever by them. You you get more population if you raise your military budget, but you lose uh, consumer goods. I like that. I like that. Let's do. Let's rush this. Preußische Preußische Großarmee. The great the Grand Army of Prussia. Offensive doctrines, obviously. Okay, man, I'm really building a... Uh, oh, the... Take in Huguenots. Dude, we talked about the Huguenots, Huguenotten, in, in history class. I know nothing. I don't know who they are. It's like French dudes. But if I do that, they give me free sifts. We are center of tolerance towards our Protestant friends. I, I think the Huguenots are Protestants in Catholic France. French Protestants, yeah. Actually, man, it, it, when I was young, between the age of 12 and 18, I was like you guys. I was a complete warmonger. I, I read books about war. I wanted to be a soldier. I was always war. I want to be in the army. I read a close quarter battle book. Listen to this shit. Listen to this. Listen to the story. This is true. I wish I still had it. So I was, I think I was 14, 15, 15, I think. And I was a huge fan of, of uh, 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 how to say, Cold War Randalls. I had this group of five to six friends, and we loved Airsoft. And we always were playing, uh, let me show the video real quick. So this is me, I made this video. So this is me and my friends and look I did this we were like 16 I would think at this point 16 years old and I made this video I was the director I told them what to do I did I, I edited this I was a huge fan of this war look this is me this year this is me <laughs> this is a real Hoi 4 player <laughs> look I'm shooting the ice tea no it's not me I'm, I'm the rear guard look this is me <laughs> to be honest it was a good time I will never talk shit that was a great I had big fun doing this man look at me man look at me hi <laughs> 15 year old Tommy <laughs> the beginning of ISIS and I literally remember and here you want to hear fucking bear abu hoi for cringe man so I was going to vacation with my parents and I hated it I was 15 I wanted to stay home and play video games and we went to vacation for one week or two weeks or something and I was bored so I bought myself an empty book you know these empty books that have nothing in it and I started to write my own XQB book. I was a kid, right? I'm like, so if the enemy took a plane, you have to approach in this manner. Uh, and yeah, I was a super weird fucking war. I mean, isn't that just young males? Don't you guys also have stories like this? Young males are kind of into this shit, you know, airsoft and shooting guns. And I was a hot, but after I left the army, when I was 18, left the army, it was completely gone. I was like, if that's the army, man, fuck this shit. I'm the biggest pacifist there. Fuck that. It killed everything for me. Because the real army is just alcohol and retards. It's weird. Hey, my fucking... Hey, we're running, fucking... 
Russia kept one Sweden. That's actually historical, right? Escalation of the Great Northern War. After some initial clashes between Sweden and Denmark and Poland and Lithuania, the declaration of war by Russia has brought a dire situation upon Sweden. Outnumbered 3 to 1, Sweden faces a struggle for survival unlike anything it has encountered before. Okay, gentlemen, we're getting into the story part of Prussia. This is starting boring. We must make sure our internal power is secure. 150 pp. Okay, let's do the story, guys. There should be some story. In the way, I want to review this mod today. Let's see if it's good. Okay, here we go. I'm choosing this tree because it's the longest. Das Kurfürstentum. Brandenburg, Prussia is in a unique position of power, being one of the most uh, powerful states in the Holy Roman Empire and more importantly, holding the title of Prince Elect. As the Holy Roman Empire continues down the path of disintegration, we shall seek to carve out a path to power in the power vacuum left behind. What is a cuirassier? I mean, they're all too far away. I could make a cuirassier and make that later. Why did you choose yellow fucking digits? That is not clever. The cuirassier is a middle heavy cavalry unit. So it's like a medium tank. Yeah, look at it. Look at that horse, man. That's a fucking horse. I'm making cuirassiers. Fuck it. They're, they're close to research. And then I can build them soon in like 200 days. No compromise with Austria. I like that. We're gonna send... Fuck that. I'm not sucking Austrian dick. Following the example set by the other major European states, such as France and Austria, we should seek to centralize our government and get rid of ourselves of medieval feudal bullshit. This mod is halfway between EU4 and EU4. Great if you want to learn one of them. That's a very good argument. This game is a bridge between EU4 and EU4, making you learn the other one. Clever. Very clever statement. And totally true. Austria joins the Grand Alliance. Earlier today, England and Austria issued a joint statement that the latter has now informally granted member status of the Grand Alliance. Whether this partnership will be used for offensive or defensive purposes remains to be seen. The Grand Alliance. That looks scary, man. Like, I want no one to get any influence. I want to have the most influence, right? Yeah, fuck that. Uh, no compromise with... The power of the monarch should be absolute. Yeah, I'm gonna be a fucking dictator, man. I'm the boss here. Nightmares become reality. All diplomacy has failed between the Grand Alliance and France and their allies. The final insult was France's support for pretender King England. Once again, Europe descends into the horrors of war. Spain joins Bourbon France. So red versus blue. I'm not gonna do anything about this, man. My capital goes to Brandenburg. I gain the kingdom rank, which gives me a lot of bonuses. I like this rank system because I'm a duchy right now. And Prussia proclaims his own kingdom. Here we go, baby. Here's my claims. Many lands we once claimed are in the hands of foreign powers. Now, it's time to pursue Greta Prussia. I think that's not the right song. I just got the claims. Well, here we fucking go, man. Let's build a great Germany, boy. Always wanted it. Saxony joins. Dude, more more people are joining the Grand Alliance, which means I have to attack them if I want to get them. Wait, Saxony is this guy. Fuck. I can't take Saxony. German expansion. So here we go. Take him down real quick. I get... I get border clashes. So that means I might not... Huh. It is true, yeah. I like how the enemy doesn't even have an army, man. I don't know. Okay, let's take down this guy. He actually has an army. It should be fine. And then I get border wars. Okay, easy, man. My army is fucking heavy, man. The Prussians. Dude, they give me so many guns. Okay, there you go. Prussia rising. Pretty easy, man. And now I unlock border, wo border wars or some shit. German border clashes. Demand Swedish Pomerania. I'm asking for Pomerania. So let's influence him a bit. Improve relations? We're asking him. Let's see what happens. And I just unlock bo border clashes. Clash over the Nida Lausitz. I didn't do border clashes in forever. So, bam, bam, bam. Position. Savoy in England, white peace, and border conflict. That does not look so good. Holy shit, that's not even close. I mean, what am I supposed to do, man? Well, this is the best division I can make, man. I, I can't make a better division as of yet. I even got defeated, and I gave him bonuses. Oh, shit. I need better divisions, yeah. Oh, we gotta work on that. Let's go. We need to chill a bit, man. 
I mean, let's take... Oh, he gave me that. Okay, good. I got it. I got it, man. I got it. Okay, let's get army XP. I need to really make 14 force, even though my economy cannot support that yet. But we're working on it. Rakoshis. Hungary has a war of independence. Oh, shit! Ooh. Okay, Lübeck. Wait, wait. Ah, let's go. Easy victory. Oh, okay. I should play like this. Yeah, I should use my fucking brain. How about that? Okay, Lüneburg. Here we go. I think I'm winning against the hidden ghosts of the forest of Lüneburg. And victory has been achieved. Wow. Big. Uh, let's build these courthouses. Hamburg. Hamburg should be easy. Okay, I think I might win and then we do more uh, artillery. So I win all these mortal clashes. Okay, I just shouldn't attack the Saxons. But all the rest seems to be very easy, man. Colonies. Victory in Hamburg. Can I make a courthouse in Hamburg? Nah, everything is overbuilt. Well, I can start building uh, convoys. Dude, I like the picture. But there's so much possible with modding. Huh? Plus 15% orc, plus 12% recovery rate. Prussia is showing what they can do, man. Jesus. Another 10% attack and 5 defense. Jesus. Artillery attack. We're really getting the Prussian war shit now, man. God damn. Oh, man. France is losing. They're losing the war, man. Everybody's colonizing already. Look at that. The AI is actually colonizing. They're doing very good. Anti-partisan. Anti-partisan level 2. Where's my... Oh, here he is. Do they even have pictures for them? Dude, respect for the modders here. Respect anti-partisan. Root out resistance. Oh! We start the colonization of the state. Soon we... The proud Prussian people will be owner of the state. Oh, thank you. Sorry, chat. Okay, I'm colonizing this. There's six spices here. Fuck, I need that. And let's clash. Instant victory. There you go. France died. Jesus, man. The Great War is over. Here we go. I have my final division, but I can't provide uh, equipment for it yet. But this this division wins fucking border war, wars. Danzig or war? <laughs> True German culture, huh? Oh, I could one on one him, dude. Uh... So I can integrate everything. Wait, it didn't work? Wait, what happened? Oh, it failed? It can fail. It said that. It failed. There's like a high chance of failing. Okay, I can trigger the war now. I should easily win this. But I'm finally winning here. It's the artillery. The artillery is just too strong. Fuck off, mate. If you take the Silesia focus, you get the border wars with Silesia. You will unlock decisions to start border wars. Oh! Thank you. Man, this guy knows his shit, man. Okay, let's get these MPs out there, man. Oh, super heavy... Uh, mm -hmm. Super heavy uh, SP artillery. Ah, Medium tank. Okay, let's try that. Welcome to my EU4 stream, guys. You wanted it? There it is. Hungry, dead. I wonder what happens when the war's over. Spain is done any second now, and then they just killed Spain and France? The world, the red faction will be completely broken. I hope there's an event by the developers that the red faction falls apart, because otherwise the game's broken. I'm getting justified upon. Ooh. Oh, spicy mean the peace still happened? But that's the peace deal? Oh, England took Spain. Oh my god, what a weird peace deal, man. And they're all puppets now. Dude, the red faction is completely broken. Hopefully that breaks in a second. Because otherwise the devs need to fix that. That's too broken. We successfully colonized. Ooh. In the end, that means I have these um, spices now. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. Friedrich der Starke, who used to be the leader of... Ha oh, look, he's leading Poland and that. That's actually interesting. Last year, two years ago, me and Lisa went to Dresden and we saw a lot of history about this guy. He was elected king of Poland and now he wants revenge for what I did to him. That actually kind of fits, man. That's actually funny. I should just dance and go war right now. Anti-Swedish. Oh, I'm going to fight the anti-Swedish coalition. I'm going to fight Russia. Ugh. I got one colonial settlement. That's a Sif. That's a Sif, man. Dude, I'm colonizing Africa. Dude, this mod is great. A bit more work. And more content and focus trees and balance. This is great. Still, I would always say, why not just play EU4? But this is this is good, man. I'm I'm a fan. I'm predicting up. Oh, there's pirates. Did, what did it? Did I just read pirates? Fuck off. Yo, you can play pirates, man. 
Yo! Can't you play uh, pirates in EU4? I would love to do that, man. But you guys always said they're not that cool. But, man, pirates, man? The coolest thing ever in the world is pirates, right? Let's see if he has the bolts, man. Look at that pussy, man. I'm going Danzig or War, man. I'm not letting you do this shit. Oh, we're going Danzig or War. Fuck this. Uh, he might just give me Danzig, though, right? Could just join Sweden right now, and then Sweden helps me later. But what? I'm joining Sweden, man. And let's have some fun. My army should be completely broken. Yeah. The problem with mods and mod designers, they don't know meta. They don't know how good multiplayer people are. And building a 14 4 division show template, it just, just kills everything, man. Because the developers don't know how fucking broken I am, you know? Okay, guys, let's just uh, do what you guys always want me to do. And that is the field marshal line. We're gonna make Germany, boys. I don't know what to do in this peace deal, though. We shall see. I probably should have turned on peace, uh, player-led peace conferences. <laughs> but who cares? It's fine. So it's a nice mod, but it needs to be harder for the player. If you know how to play Hobby 4, you will easily win this mod. That's something I really like in Kaiserreich. It's so hard. When you play miners, I mean, have you, if you watch my Transamur game, you have to overcome so much. I can call out an empire. There you go. I just called an empire, which gave me insane bonuses. Integrations are so important right now. That's Poland. And let's rush down Russia. Let's play like this for a second until we clean this stuff out here. Should be very, very quick. Okay, let's go. Okay, my army should be... Oh! Oh! Oh, man, eh? you can never trust your teammates, can you? Jesus Christ, let's go, let's go. Oh, my God. Jim, Jim Evans. He doesn't look like a Jim Evans. He doesn't look like a Jim Evans. I don't know. Okay, that should be it now. Orange coming back over here. Don't know how pass the game. Don't have infinite time. But it seems I'm totally breaking through. The 10% movement speed is obviously huge. Hey, Moscow? I have Moscow, right? So let's do the North uh, Instrument. I just want to quit this. I want to go back to Germany. I don't care about this Russia war here, man. I just want to be done. This Prussia, this cool in... Uh, Prussia is probably very cool in EU4, right? With crazy bonuses and shit. Man, you can't integrate the whole world. I'm just going to give a lot of stuff away, though, in the peace deal. Is that Stalingrad in real life? Yeah, that is Stalingrad, right? In real life. Okay, lots of instruments coming. We're slowly going to win the war. Again, this war means nothing to me. I just want to get the... The personal achievement of getting uh, Germany... And I took the capital. The game is breaking. Oh, what's happening? Sweden and Russia signed the what? Eh. 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 Developers, man. Yeah, devs. There, you gotta do some shit there, my devs, man. You gotta. That is obviously not okay, man. But yeah, it's a fucking mod, man. I find I, I kind of fucking get it. Dude, that was a bit stupid that that just happened. Mod is an alpha? Yeah, yeah, just saying. Mods, I found some. I found a bug. Wait, I can't bring them home? Ah, uh, oh, come on. I can't bring them home? But blue's coming home. Because they have a... F uh, they're stuck? Oh, come on. Yeah, f fuck. Oh, oh, ultra annoying. We can see the limits of the mods now. It's okay, though. I need to kill Britain. I, the game is kind of fucked now, and I kind of have to stop the stream soon. Because I need to kill Britain and shit. It's super annoying now. The alliances make this an ultra world war. Like, oh, Hoi Force always like that, right? Revolutionary cavalry. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, I'm not going to make Germany. I, as I said, a little mini stream today. And uh, the mod is great. But yeah, I would have to, like, go to... Uh, I might even have to go over here to f reach my goal. It's a good mod. It needs a lot of work still, obviously. It can easily be broken. You can't through focuses. No, 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 no. Shut up. But yeah, I'm going to call it to you, man. Lisa already texted me. I promised her a nice evening, man. Great mod. Needs some work. We will find out what I stream in the next uh, the rest of the week. Thank but you for okay. everything, guys. I see you tomorrow. Have a nice evening. And truly, guys, I mean it. Check out the Big Short movie. That movie blew my mind yesterday. Check it out tonight if you can. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to get Arabian food now. Oh, baby. Sitting here sad, now I'm just sitting here sad. She's looking at my fingers like sad.